night when she answered the telephone and she found Jerry Lewis on the other end of the line. The Zender was married to Hal Wallace, who had produced all of those Dean Martin, Jerry Lewis films. So you would say, well, why would she be so surprised to hear from Jerry? Because Martin and Lewis were locked in a very well-publicized contract dispute with Paramount until now. Uh, the two parties were only speaking by way of their lawyers. All this began uh, just a few months earlier, and it started with a demand for more money. And one thing led to the other, and now the differences was, were just irreconcilable. Jerry Lewis had a love-hate relationship with Hal Wallace when he was growing up. Uh, Jerry uh, rarely ever saw his father. He was a vaudevillian who spent most of his time on the road, and not to play armchair psychologist, maybe uh, Jerry saw him as uh, Wallace as kind of a father figure. Well, anyway, he pours his heart out to Louise Fazender. His lawyers told him not to call, but he had to. He loved Wallace, and he wanted to work with him in the worst way. Again, he said that he and Dean just wanted Wallace to produce all their pictures, and he hoped that both sides could somehow sit down and just discuss the problem, honestly. Well, the next day, Wallace sent out a memo to his partner outlining what Jerry said on the phone. And within a week, it was a brand new contract, raising the team's salary substantially, too, almost 10 times what they were getting before. And work began on the movie we're about to see. With that, here are Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis, scared stiff. <laughs>